7 Quick Tips on How to Be Charismatic Like Johann Liebert, develop a friendly reputation. The friendliness that you display is essential to being approachable. Without approachability, it's very hard to influence people, which is why you need to establish that you are polite, kind, and respectful to everyone you meet. It will disarm their cautiousness and make them more open to your influence. Remember that an unthreatening, calm demeanor is the optimal way of displaying friendliness. It's all part of your appearance, which will slowly build your friendly reputation over time. Then after that, you can charm people in a more easier manner. Johan clearly understands the importance of appearing friendly. Establishing his unthreatening demeanor makes him seem more trustworthy and allows him to get closer to people. Mask your negative qualities. Concealing your negative qualities is a good method of getting more people to like you. If you're completely open and honest, people will see you in a negative way. This is because they are now aware of what's unpleasant about you. If you can't manipulate people's perception to see you in a positive light, then you're failing at being charismatic. Which is why it's much better to delude everyone into only seeing your positive qualities. Do this by concealing anything negative or unethical about yourself. When you hide these things from people, it will affect their perspective, making them unable to make a rational assessment because you have created an illusion for them and the illusion makes you appear as a good person. Masking negative qualities is something that Johann clearly does. He conceals the dark side of himself to appear pleasant and likable to certain people. Let people talk about themselves. Excessively talking is not necessary to become charismatic. It's actually better to let others do a significant amount of the talking. The key thing that you need to remember is that many people love talking about themselves. This is because they secretly seek validation and want to express themselves. It brings them great pleasure to hear their own thoughts and opinions being spoken. All you need to do is ask questions and encourage them in a friendly way. Also make it seem like you're genuinely interested. This will have a more satisfying effect on the individual because it is stroking their ego go. Johan did this when he was with Carl. He lets Carl express his own thoughts and opinions then encourages him to continue revealing more. This gives Carl the perception that Johan is genuinely interested and cares about him. Embody boldness. If you show any sign of fear and timidity, you will ruin the charisma you have with people. Remember that cowards are not charismatic at all and nobody respects them. So you must avoid being perceived as timid. To become charismatic, you must embody courage and fearlessness. Display these qualities through the actions you take. Flaunt the fact that you can thrive in stressful and dangerous situations. This will enhance your reputation and allow you to have a strong influential presence over people. Boldness is one aspect that enhances Johann's charisma. The fearlessness he displays inspires kids to commit dangerous actions, becoming charmed by his way of thinking, and trying to replicate what Johan does. Never try too hard. If you try too hard, you give off the impression that you're needy and desperate. It shows that you're not good enough and you're trying to overcompensate for your weakness. It's unnatural and people are repulsed by it. There's nothing charismatic about trying so hard. So what you should do instead is make everything you do seem effortless. The key to effortlessness is appearing calm and relaxed. This could be in the way you talk, how you navigate situations or showing it in your body language. The fact that you seem calm and relaxed will radiate self-assurance. It gives the perception of being natural and godlike, amplifying your presence and making people more susceptible to your influence. When observing Johan, you never see him trying hard. Everything he does is always in a calm and effortless manner. So he gets perceived as confident and elegant, which makes him more fascinating than the average person. Show empathy towards people. Most people never feel truly understood, which is why, if you show that you understand them, they will trust and appreciate you more. The purpose of empathy is to make your target feel important and understood. It will make them feel good about themselves, which is one aspect of being charismatic. All you need to do is simply listen and acknowledge what they are saying, while also avoiding harshly criticizing the person. Stop yourself from being openly judgmental. Only show the empathetic attitude you have. One instance of displaying empathy is when Johan takes the time to listen to Carl then showed that he understood everything he said causing Carl to develop more trust towards him. Speak elegantly. A significant amount of charm comes from the way you speak because it can create emotional disturbances such as inspiring people, stirring up anger or calming down intense feelings. There are many styles of speaking but we will be focusing on Johan's specific way of talking which is the slow and hypnotic style of delivery. Essentially there's no need to be aggressively loud and fast. You fully control the pace of your talking. Speak slowly with intention while also having a sense of calmness from your voice. It's quite hypnotic because it encourages friendliness and peace peacefulness. People's response to your way of talking will be more trusting and less closed off. Johan using this voice tone can prevent people from negatively reacting to him. His calmness in his voice helps people to react more positively when first interacting with him, encouraging them to be more calm and friendly just like him. Thanks for watching Vevn7.